Hello. Hi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I want to talk about Beauty Pie. I am going to be sharing a pretty big haul. I picked up the holiday launches that I thought were the most attractive for me, but I also want to talk about my first year with Beauty Pie, my experience, if I would recommend it, all that good stuff. So let's dive right in. All right. So this is Frank. If you haven't met him, he's the best doggy in the world, but he is ready for D-I-N-N-E-R. He knows that word and also to play. And he made this very difficult to film, but I do want to get this up before Black Friday and before the sets that I do have sell out. So I hope you don't mind. It's a little chaotic. I don't know if the objective I was hoping to hit worked, but I will insert timestamps. We do unboxing of, oh, thank you, Frankie. We do unboxings of what I ordered and some of the holiday kits. And then I kind of give a quick overview of my first year in Beauty Pie. So timestamps for those will be down below. I hope that this is okay. If not, it's his fault. And how can you be mad at a face like that? Right, Pranky? He's got a crazy beard because he's been chewing bones. But all right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Not bye. Enjoy this very chaotic video with Frankster. Anyway, I have three boxes from Beauty Pie to go through. I'm not going to lift them up. You would have seen them in the thumbnail. But I have everything listed with the current price and we're going to go through that. I did pick up a couple of replacement skincare items, a replacement mascara, and then two formulas that I love, but I wanted to pick up additional colors in actually three, and then a couple of new products plus holiday launches. So I'm going to go kind of in that order and we're going to start with my repurchases, pure ceramides, um, eye serum, I love this. It's the Elastic Boost Eye Moisture Serum. This is phenomenal. If you have allergies, if you're interested, go check out my skincare videos about Beauty Pie. Same with the Happy Face Sika Moisturizer, Extreme Relief Sika Moisture Cream. Absolutely love this stuff. The Pure Ceramides Eye Serum, they say is worth $40 and it's $12. I think it's a good price. I would pay $12 even if it wasn't supposed to be luxury. It's a very lightweight serum that sinks in. Really helps if around your eyes are irritated. And then the Happy Face Extreme Relief Sika Moisture Cream, they say is worth $60 and it's $15. I don't know that I would pay $60 for this, but I would absolutely pay $15. Probably $30 is the highest I would go for this. Super soothing. It makes a huge difference in my skin, especially when I'm breaking out. It is a lightweight gel moisturizer feel. And then the last repurchase, because I did run out of those two I just mentioned, and I like to keep a backup on hand, the Uber Volume Boost Velvet Mascara in Black. I love this mascara. It makes you look like you have falsies, especially if you already have some length to your lashes. Oh, it adds thickness, volume, length. It's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. I love this. And they say that this would typically be... $30, which I think is a bit of a stretch. I feel like most high-end mascaras are 24 to 26, but it's $12 and I love it. It, it pretty much beats out L'Oreal price-wise for that. And that was all for kind of what I repurchased, just those three items, but I did purchase. I purchased three more of the cream shadow sticks because I so fell in love with Wild Violet. Oh, such a beautiful shade. He's chewing now such a beautiful shade and i really wanted to expand the shades that i have in this formula especially because when you are on the go and you need a five second eyeshadow look these are perfect for that i actually have wild violet on right now mixed with victoria beckham's fig along the lash line so i picked up little star which i honestly thought was going to be much lighter than that i also picked up beige bombshell and that is kind of what I was hoping Little Star to be, so I'm happy I did that. And then I picked up Brazilianaire because I do wanna go into brown a little bit more with these. So Little Star, beige bombshell in the middle, which is exactly what they say, but it catches the light for a beautiful inner corner highlight. 
And then Brazilian Air is kind of like a taupe brown, definitely on the cooler side. But yeah, very excited. I think Little Star might balance the coolness out if you mix them together. So I'm very happy to have these. They say that these are around $28 to $30 a piece, which I agree with. I think these are just about spot on with the Laura Mercier caviar stick. And these were $9.50 a piece, which you cannot beat if you know that you like stick shadows. I can attest that these are great formulas. They're right up there with Laura Mercier and Bobbi Brown. I think they're a little better than the AF94 and the About Face. I just love these. These give much more of a foiled effect than the About Face. So yeah, happy to have those. Then I feel like Beauty Pie must have heard our pleas for more colors in the Super Cheek. And they came out with three, two or three new shades. One was a candy apple red. The other one I think was like a peachy coral. And then this one, which is super nude, it is much warmer in person, but that is kind of true to all of Beauty Pie's blushes. I really wish they would come out with more neutral to cool leaning blushes, but I am happy to have this. This almost goes in to like a pumpkin apricot shade. So I am happy with this. It's not exactly what I would like as a nude, but I can't wait to apply that. And I love that formula. Again, if you like cream blushes, this one sets down to like almost a silicone-y powder finish. Absolutely stunning and blurring on the cheeks and it's not super dewy. So if most cream blushes are too dewy, I'm wearing a mixture of Phytosurgence and Merit right now and there's quite a bit of dew. These are a little less kind of shiny in that manner, but excited to have that. Then the last formula that I have had before, but I wanted to pick up a different color in is the, I always say this name wrong, Future Lipstick Luxe Shine. And I got this in the shade You Sexy Thing, which I think the color was a little deceiving online again with this one. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't be as warm, but it is but I'm excited. Actually, let's put this on really quick. I can't get over the scent. Yeah, see, all of their lip shades go very pink. I need to go back to the drawing board. This might be gifted to a family member. Then the next thing I picked up, I have not tried this formula before, so we're getting into the new to me stuff. I love the Uber Volume Boost Velvet Mascara, but this is the Uber Volume Fiber Lash Building Primer on top here. So I'm very excited to try these two together because the mascara on its own gives such a great effect. And I'm excited to see what this does. So I forgot to run through pricing. The Cream Blush shade, they say that this is a value of $35, a little bit of a stretch, but I paid $14 right around the Phytosurgence mark. So I think that that's fair to pay for that. It's a good price. Plus, with Beauty Pie, a lot of it, too, is the packaging. It's not a drugstore experience, and it's kind of at the drugstore price, which is crazy. Like, I know L'Oreal Mascara is more than $12. Nuts. Then the Future Lipstick Luxe Shine and You Sexy Thing, they say a value of $30, and it is $12 retail. So I paid $12 for it. I, this is better than the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss by far. I think that those are even more than $30, so yeah. Absolutely. And again, it's a really weighty plastic that borders on metal. It might even be metal. No, plastic. Still, really nice and chic. I really love their packaging. And then for the primer that I just mentioned, they say it's a value of $25 and I paid $9 with my membership. So again, cheaper than the L'Oreal primer. It's, it's wild. It's really wild. So getting that out of the way, I really want to like unbox this next item with you. And it is the Jenna Lyons Un Lipstick and they have kits that come with a lip liner. They say the value is $64 for the liner, the case and the lip refill. I paid $27 for all three. So about $9 a piece can't beat it. Hopefully we're gonna see, but I have the lip liner in vanilla nude keep this case, which is the reusable case, and then the refill from the Jenna Lyons Un Lipstick in the shade 
in the shade nothing on because I wanted a nude. So let's take this puppy out. All right, so here's the lip liner. I like that it's the color, the packaging is the color of the shade itself. I've never tried their lip liners, but wow, that was really creamy. And it's kind of one of those plastic sharpenable ones. I, I prefer wood. These plastic ones, they just get wonky too easy, but we'll see. Then the component that is refillable is just silver with Beauty Pie on it, very lightweight. And then the refill itself comes with a nice cap you pop off. And these are supposed to be like, like I said, the unlipstick, blurring, kind of a blotted, blurred lip. And yeah, it feels very silky and almost silicone-like. So right here is the lip liner. And down here is the lipstick. So I want to apply this. No scent, it just smells like the ingredients and it has Beauty Pie embossed around the bullet. Let's give this a shot, guys. All right, the lip liner. It's very creamy, but it also feels like it has some grip to stick around. It's not like, what comes to mind is the ColourPop. And those are super creamy, but they don't last. And let's go in with the lipstick. Okay. This feels almost like the powder kiss from MAC, but more moisturizing. Like I'm shocked that there's actually moisture in this. Very shocked. Yeah, first ingredient is dimethicone. There's beeswax. That's so interesting. There's Andaria extract, which you know I love. That is an algae extract. And it is in the Osea Andaria products and it is also in the Youth Balm and in a lot of other products that I love. So I love that it's in here. That might be what's moisturizing, but that's gonna do a lot for lips as well. Yeah, Unda Plump extract. So what algae is really good at in the skin and why it's good for anti-aging is it holds a lot of moisture and plumps things and I love it. It also soothes my skin and lips. So very excited about that. And I do like this color. I think it's a very flattering nude on me. I just, I am so dry that I always top with a gloss. But yeah, I absolutely love that. So there's some swatches of my new stuff. Very exciting. And now we're getting into the holiday. The holiday drops, everybody. I was so excited. They traditionally have really exciting holiday items. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that is new from holiday, and I don't believe that this is staying around forever. They did say once the holiday items are sold out, they're gone, they don't plan to restock them. So that's why I'm in a rush to get this video up and why it might be a little hectic. It's been a long day of work and I'm really trying to get this done and edited tonight. Anyway, I did purchase the La Posi, La Posi de Chiffre. I hope that's how you pronounce it, I'll pop it. Or actually it's right here. This is the Velvety Body Moisture Cream. I love their Super Healthy Skin Moisture Cream. It is a fabulous texture. And I picked this up because it's the only scent that they dropped in the moisture cream so far. It is in a beautiful glass jar with a plastic lid, but it looks so luxe, but it is heavy, super heavy. You also get 6.42 fluid ounces, which is slightly smaller than the normal moisture cream, but it smells very lovely. It, it's an interesting scent and one that I typically wouldn't go for, but it has cocoa extract, shea butter, and sweet almond oil. It is a lovely scent. I think that I will probably be gifting this uh, because it's not quite my scent, but whoever gets it is a very lucky person because I love this body moisture cream. It's so good. I will, let's see if we can find the notes. I'll pop the notes up on the screen in case you're interested. I will say my order did come with a sample card of this scent, which was really nice. So if you're not sure, you might get that, but take a look at the notes, take a look at the reviews. To me, it's kind of like a powdery floral musky scent. 
done really well and there's some sweetness I think with cocoa in there and I do that's why I think I'm on the fence I like it but there's just a little too much powdery floralness to it but yeah, I picked this up because in the next thing I'm about to talk about, there was a companion to this, shall we say. But this, they say, is worth $70 and it is $29.50 with membership. I would absolutely pay $29.50, especially for a gift. It's very weighty. It's very luxe. $70, probably, honestly, it's right there with Jo Malone and I would choose Beauty Pie formulas over Jo Malone. Same with the scent, honestly. All right, before we get into the big guy, I want to talk about this, which looks like nothing, but it's embossed with Beauty Pie's new logo, which is inter Interlocking Bees. And this is the Luxury Makeup Brush Collection, and it is a 10-piece brush set with a beautiful holder that we're going to get into. I have opened this and played with these already. The thing that killed me is the last kit that we talked about on my channel, I think I paid $48 for. This one is no joke. This one, they say, is a value of $280, and you can get it as a member for $139, so it is not cheap. I have thoughts. So it comes in a beautiful gift box, so all you have to do is wrap this or not even stick a bow on it. It's very pretty. Then you get this gorgeous, and I mean gorgeous, black velvet case with the Beauty Pie logo at the bottom a beautiful gold pool and it's just oh so pretty but i'm sure will attract all the lint and then when you open it up you have not 10 and i love beauty pie brushes i have every brush that they offer and some that they don't offer any longer because i bought the last set available and i have multiples in the Seamless Buffing Foundation Brush and the Blush Brush because they're two of my favorite brushes out there. But I kind of love that they all come with this plastic protective case. You slip them off this way, but they're very easy to kind of put back through. So when you're traveling, you're protected. But let's go ahead and take a look at the shapes of all of these. All right. One thing I will say is they did an excellent job of not repeating shapes that they already have, which I think is great because a lot of people who join Beauty Pie are not necessarily using their spending budget or their allotted funds that they can use at Beauty Pie. What am I saying? A lot of them are not using their membership allowance. That's the word. Their membership allowance on other people. They're spending it on themselves. So it's nice to have the option to continue to branch out and brush shape and style. These are all gold as opposed to the all black ferrule and handle of the Beauty Pie brushes, such as this guy right here. They are the same quality of ferrule. These ones might be a touch bit lighter. No, they're the same. So the first one we have is this beautiful angled brush, which they're calling the Precision Concealer Brush. Let's actually bounce that against the contour brush. So this is the Pro Angled, or no, concealer. This is the Pro Angled Concealer Brush that's always available on the site. This is the Precision Concealer Brush, so quite a difference in size. And the head of the concealer brush that is around all the time is very rounded whereas this precision is very flat so flat and angled then we have the sculpting contour brush which is a beautiful duo fiber brush i love brushes like this and this size i have one similar to this from mac from a long time ago and the bristles got bent i've had that thing for like 10 plus years i'm so happy to have this these are just as soft and lovely and perfect size for contour or even blush if you especially if you have smaller cheeks i'm so happy to have this nothing else in their current line really is comparable then we have the effortless eyeshadow blending brush this is such an interesting brush because i hope you can see it comes to a point at the very top this way very long and it's almost duo fibered the fibers are definitely different lengths I think this is going to be absolutely phenomenal, especially for cream products. They do not have a 
crease brush quite like that. Then we have the Pro Angled Blush Brush, which this looks like the Fenty cheek brush that they have. I cannot get over how soft this is, and it's a little bit longer in length, so it is very flexible. But look at that shape. So interesting, and it really does kind of like hug the cheek. I cannot wait to use this again, duo fiber, different lengths of the bristle. Then we have the Flawless Foundation Stippling Brush. So this whole kit is almost like they're very duo fiber, whereas even though a lot of the original brushes like this look like they're duo fiber and they might have some differences, for the most part, they're just tipped, whereas these are true stippling brushes so far, and I... I love that for cream. So we have just kind of your traditional flat brush, which is different from their foundation brush. My brushes are dirty. Go check out some of my other videos. I use it in every Beauty Buy video. I love that brush, but I'm very excited to try this. This is gonna probably give a little bit less coverage because although it looks dense, since it is duo fiber, you can kind of see that those bristles have a decent amount of space between them, whereas the other one is a very dense, kind of more compact with the bristles, and it gives a lot more coverage. It gives a lot more coverage faster. You don't have to build, it just keeps it all there. Then the last two eye brushes are a Pro Shadow Smudge Brush, which looks like this. I really like the shape of this. It's almost like a condensed shader brush as opposed to the pencil style that they have on their shape and smudge eyeshadow brush. And again, they kind of have this little detail side, but you'll see the length is different. It's not as dense and thick. Happy to have this. It's gonna be amazing for eyeliner. And then they have a pro angled eyeliner brush. In the past, they've done the eyeliner with the spoolie on the other end. So love that. Then the only brush in this kit that I don't think I necessarily need is this Pro Highlight Fan Brush. I don't really use these except for Fallout and this one is insanely soft. This is probably the softest fan brush I've ever owned. Okay, maybe I like this. We'll have to bust that out. And then these two I think I'm the most excited for. So I have seen this shape, I think from Real Techniques, but we have the Effortless Eyeshadow Base Brush, which is in that fan shape. It's got quite a thickness to it as well. And then we have the Flawless Finish, Comp Blah. Flawless Finish Complexion Brush, which is a larger version of that eyeshadow fan shape, a little bit thicker. And this is, dense this is if you really want to press in powder i think i like something looser like my eco tools highlighting brush where i can just pat a little but i think this would be great for liquid or not liquid cream or powder contour bronzer blush especially when you get up here oh i'm very excited to use this so soft and then this is so interesting for the eye because i would almost tend to use it kind of this way than this way because of the shape of the ferrule here, but also I think this would be excellent at blending eyeliner or outer V or detail blending. I don't know that I would use this to pack the lid like on the side, if that makes sense. But yeah, that is all nine of the brushes. So when I think about this, if you're paying $140 essentially, comes down to like $14 for the case and $14 per brush. Now you can kind of stack that up and say something like this is probably closer to $20.25 and something like this is probably closer to $10 or just under, which honestly is on par for Beauty Pie. Most of their brushes are around the $15, $16 mark. So I think, yeah, it is fair. I just wish they would have given us a little bit more of a discount, even if it meant having a PU or like a fake leather, faux leather case instead of the velvet. But I'm happy I have this. I will use all of these brushes. The only one I see myself maybe not gravitating towards again is that fan brush, but I'm very happy to have this in my collection. And we will be doing another full face of Beauty Pie with some of this new stuff. If that's something you're interested in, let me know down below. All right, then last, but certainly not least, we have the latest and greatest 2022. Now this came in a box that says, 
you deserve this and we all we all do let's be honest but this thing is no joke it is very pricey we're going to get into my thoughts around that it is a value of 480 dollars and they are selling it for 198 so is it worth that we shall see we shall see now keep in mind this is where i'm probably going to be splitting this up so think about that as we go through this that this is a perfect item that you can break apart and give as gifts maybe there's something you want to keep for yourself but the first thing that they include is four different coupons to use for yourself or gift and it is a three month membership at beauty pie faux free which is beautiful and i think it is a lovely touch and i will absolutely be gifting that to friends and family especially the ones that i'm not sure if they would benefit from beauty pie this is a great way to try it out i shouldn't have showed that we might have to cut that out on the other side is cards with qr codes nobody steal my qr codes because i'm gifting this you know but then i want to show you the inside of the box even though this is quite loud it says you deserve this but then it's beautifully wrapped with a nice sticker beauty pie latest and greatest we're opening this together i thought it would be fun i am slightly dying over this but it comes in a beautiful green velvet trunk case this was the color i chose for my wedding and i'm so happy that it's having its moment this fall and christmas like everyone's into this color green especially in velvet but a nice faux leather strap and pulls with a gold zipper it is beautiful it is so beautiful and it says beauty pie on the back here oh i die it's so pretty but like i don't know that it's practical for how i store makeup we'll see i don't know it might be a treasure box or it's going to someone else so they did set this up in kind of a, an advent calendar type of way with 12 items so you could go through and open them as such if you don't want to see spoilers i will frank says yeah don't spoil the christmas spirit if you don't want to see spoilers i'll insert a time stamp here to where i'll just give final thoughts on the box but for those of you who want to know what's in it and what contributes to my thoughts around if it's worth it stick around and we'll get into it all right so for number one we have the super healthy hair seven hair seven oil hair elixir with macadamia jojoba peach kernel rose hip wheat germ olive and rice oils so this is a hair oil i do want to see what it looks like i'm just so curious i have thought about trying this but i'm on a hair journey where i'm using unscented products but it's in a lovely glass jar with a pump which is super appreciated i don't like dropper products for your hair like this it looks lovely does it smell It smells very kind of clean and warm. I do like that. That's kind of generous too. How much is in here? 1.69 fluid ounces. That's pretty generous for a hair oil. I feel like I don't go through them very quickly because I have such fine hair, but let me know down below. Do you go through them quickly? Is that a lot of product? So that's number one. Number two is a duo of the Velvety Matte Lip Crayons, which these are limited edition, I believe, and they have a couple other kits. Mine are on the way um, from Patty Dubrow. And these are not always around. So I, I did want to try these. So we've got it in the shade Damsel and Rouge Lala. So we have Damsel here on the bottom, which is a medium true kind of rose pink. And then we have Dam... I just said Damsel, didn't I? Then we have Rouge Lala. <laughs> Rouge Lala, which is like a very kind of deeper true red, like a crimson, if you will. Love the packaging on those. They feel very glidey, but they do give a matte appearance. So I'm very excited to, to bust into those. And I apologize. I keep getting distracted because Frank is like into everything. And I'm trying to like keep an eye on him and get this filmed because I do want to get this up before these things sell out. Oh yeah, number three is a pack of the 100% Silk Hair Scrunchies, and these are in kind of that nude blush shade. 
This is part of the reason why I ordered this. I knew there would be gifts in here, but there were some things I needed to re-up that I just got through here, and this is one of them. I love these. These are typically like $16 to $20 in that range. So much better price for six of these than Slip. This is one of my favorite products from Beauty Pie, so happy to see that in there. Then number four is another reason why I went ahead and picked this up. I am out of my, or no. This is the Japan Fusion Bioceramide Deep Moisture Mask. I have wanted to try this, but I have not found it in me to purchase this. I do love the Japan Fusion Cleanser. However, this I think has fragrance in it, but I'm still very excited to try it, especially as it gets colder. It has yuzu ceramides, grape polyphenols, jabara extract, and vegetable squalene. So very excited to try that out. All right, number five is the companion to the moisture cream that I showed earlier. It is the sample fragrance to go with the body butter. So I'm very excited about that. Although I thought they were going to give a bigger one. This is what? 0.16 fluid ounces. It's not even like a true rollerball, but we'll get, to, we'll get there towards the end. All right, number six is the lemon butter and hemp seed hand wash. This has lemon butter, hemp protein, sweet almond oil, aloe vera, and glycerin. Oh, that smells like super healthy skin. I will absolutely be using this. <laughs> it's in a very large container too. This is 16.9 fluid ounces. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I have wanted to try this. I think this was available in the UK before. Oh, but I'm so excited, especially if this is moisturizing. It smells like the super healthy skin body line. So if you like that scent, you will like this. I'll report back on formula. Then number seven is an eyelash curler, which I'm very excited to have. I don't currently own one. And on occasions like now where I'm going through a weird, short, spiky lash situation, I feel like I would benefit from using one. So it comes with your eyelash curler. And then it also came with, goodness, five replace replacements of the cushion. So you get six total. Um, it feels nice. I've felt nicer. It's not like the most heavy duty. Like I, I could break this. Move it on. <laughs> All right. Number eight. I was very excited about comes with orange wood sticks for cleaning up the cuticles. But what I was really excited about is this cuticle therapy ultra nourishing nail protecting with bakuchiol i'm very excited this is not something that you can currently get along with the cuticle sticks so this is going to be limited edition for the holiday then also with this came the wonder color nail polish in the shade it's the gold shade they need to put the shade on the box but very beautiful metallic gold i actually will use this for my toes because i do get my nails professionally done but i am definitely going to be reporting back on this my thought is if people rave about a product that is limited edition enough they will either for sure bring it back next holiday or they'll bring it back full time like i could see this coming into their repertoire full time as long as this kind of test almost goes well so keep that in mind all right, this was another one of the reasons I bought this. I was about to purchase the Japan Fusion Pure Transforming Cleanser because I ran out of mine. This is my favorite first cleanse in the world. It's mess-free. If you're interested, check out my skincare videos from Beauty Pie in the Beauty Pie playlist on my channel. All right, then number 10, we have their double-sided organic cleansing and exfoliating cloths. I do use cloths very similar to this to wash my face every night. You get a pack of three in here. One side is a soft microfiber material and one side is organic cotton muslin. I have never used muslin before, but I use microfiber every night. It also has a nice little loop to hang up to dry. So you've got microfiber and muslin. I need new microfiber cloths, but I don't know. I think I was planning on gifting this, so we shall see who is lucky enough to end up with these beautiful things. Everything smells like that perfume, by the way. All right, the next product, which is number 11, is the Super Healthy Hair Detox Shampoo. It has purifying charcoal and apple cider vinegar. 
I have used this. It does not upset my scalp, but it's not something I can use every single day because it is very clarifying. I actually am gonna gift this and I know exactly who I'm gonna gift it to. So it's a full size of that, 5.41 fluid ounces. <laughs> All right, the number 12 is the Red Current and Fig Scented Candle. These are beautiful gifts. The only thing is most of my candles I buy locally and I think they're better quality and the scents are more geared towards me. Okay, you definitely get like fig leaves, like a green part of it. Very bright, but also creamy and sweet. I do like that. This will be a gift. Um, it's not my favorite scent. I'm very picky, but this is actually what the whole box smells like, not the perfume. But I'm very excited to give this as a gift as well. And these are usually about $30, 25 to $30. So, and then it looks like there's an extra surprise that says, take me with you. Oh, I love this. It is a canvas tote bag, but it is quite large, quite, quite large. And it snaps at the top. You've got a little pocket at the top and it's very generous. It kind of expands on the bottom there. So I'm very excited about this because I know a lot of people give these out free. This actually feels like a really good quality and I love these especially now with Frank to like throw all of his things in. But this one's super cute. I'm happy with this. That's so cute as a little added bonus. Okay, I'm gonna throw all those things back into the case and we'll talk about if I think that it's worth that $198 price tag. Okay. Looking at this, I could belabor this and break down the estimated versus actual cost of every single product that they do have on their website. However, keep in mind things like the cuticle package, the new fragrance, those are not, and those matte lip crowns are not available on the website currently to purchase outside of kits like this. The rest of it is. I like that they gave you a plethora of items, hair care, nail care, makeup, skin care, body care. You kind of get the whole gamut of what they have to offer, the candle even. So if you just got a membership and you have no idea what you even want or what you like, it would be a good way to discover each category kind of. But I am someone who wants to pick that myself. Now, looking at this, I wanted to pick it up, one, to review on my channel, Two, because there are staples in there that I needed to repurchase anyway. A couple of things that I've been wanting to try and I also knew that I was gonna break this up and be able to gift some of it and know that some of it is something that the people I'm gifting it to would enjoy and it gives them a jump off point to try Beauty Pie and I can stick one of those membership cards in. So it's kind of like a gift plus you know, here's your three months where you can now purchase what you want. I really like it in that standpoint. I wish it wouldn't be so big and I wish that it wasn't at the price point that it was because that's gonna tie into this final conversation. Am I happy that I purchased this? Absolutely. I love the tote bag. Honestly, I would have honestly almost preferred the tote bag without the velvet case. The velvet case is gorgeous, but it's just not practical for me. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of torn. It's very, very pricey. I would say it's only worth it if you know you're going to break it up into gifts or you really want to try a lot of those things and you need an advent calendar for yourself and that's not out of your budget, you know? But that said, before Frank loses his whole mind, let's get into kind of my year-end thoughts of Beauty Pie. All right, so that said, I literally just got the email notification letting me know that my Beauty Pie membership is about to renew for next year. I am letting it renew because I have found staples like the Happy Face Moisturizer, the Eye Serum, the First Cleanse, things that I use every day pretty much that have really cut down the cost of the things I was using beforehand and I did not have to compromise on quality. I also have thoroughly enjoyed testing out some of their makeup products more than I did in the beginning because if you would have asked me 
six months to a year ago where beauty pie shined for me was skincare and body care and things have kind of changed based on me not using scented body care anymore and diving a little bit more into the makeup those eyeshadow sticks have become a staple on the days that i need to throw something together really fast and the body care i still love and that scrub is forever going to be in my rich lady shower routine but the rest of it i've kind of passed on because of the fragrance portion of it so it really kind of has evolved but i will say the things that i'm continuing to go back to are a thousand percent worth the savings that i get because i want to touch on pricing I did hesitate to re-establish my membership because prices have continued to rise with Beauty Pie, and I'm definitely seeing that in these holiday kits. There was not a one kit last year that surpassed $100, I think. And these are just, a lot of it I think is they're stepping up and they've, they've launched so many new products since last Christmas, but... The other thing is just, I know, you know, inflation, supply chain, all that has attributed to some of the prices increasing, but some of these things are starting to inch close to the point where the savings are no longer there. And I know a lot of people feel this way because I'm on Facebook groups and things like that. But I will say that after a year of using their products, there are some that I will continue to go back to again and again. I love when they drop new products that are in categories that I'm interested in. I love their makeup brushes. I think even if you were to go a year with a membership and be able to stock up on some makeup brushes, some hair ties, things of that nature, it, it might very well be worth it. Um, but for me, I, I do really enjoy it. I, I'm at a place now where I think it is a great option if you want to save on everyday items, but beware that they do discontinue things without letting people know in advance. I'm very upset that some of my favorites... Excuse me, sir. I'm very upset that some of my favorites were discontinued, like the two-in-one clay cleanser mask. I know that they've come out with a new one. I don't know if it's the exact same, but beware that they do discontinue some things, and you need to keep that in mind when you're thinking about investing long-term into Beauty Pie. The membership is $59 a year. They did get rid of the spending limit around Christmas time. So that was really nice because I was dwindling because I tried as much as I could this year to be able to share with you. And also out of my own curiosity, I'm starting to ramble and Frank keeps biting me. Stop. He is so ready to play, but I am happy to do a whole sit down video where I dive deeper into my first year of beauty pie and also let you know my top five favorites if that's something that you are interested in let me know i'm happy to do that when i'm not as scatterbrained but i hope you enjoyed unboxing these things with me i think out of all of my purchases i would say the brush kit is worth it if you have the money to spend and i, I would kind of pass on the advent calendar unless you know that you can break it up into gifts that are perfect for other people but yeah my repurchases, I stand by. And the unlipstick on first application, I don't mind it. If you're a matte lipstick lover, I think it's for you. But yeah, hope this was helpful and not too chaotic. Frank is losing his mind and he already got a hold of a brush. This is the first thing of mine he's ever chewed up other than a book. We're trying to get ready for the holidays. It's crazy. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.